This is Utah Attorney General Sean Reyes, undercover. First, he was in Colombia with his friend Tim Ballard. Tim is the under jefe. Then the Attorney General sat in the Attorney General's office, giving interviews to promote Ballard's nonprofit. He says the experience has made him elevate human trafficking to a top priority in his new administration. Tim Ballard is now under criminal investigation for sex assault. His employees say he groomed women and lied about saving children from human trafficking. I mean, me and Sean are like this. We're going, we're going to Mexico next week. I sat with these women. After hearing their stories in person, I believe them. Reyes says he's no longer friends with Ballard. And now, according to the Salt Lake Tribune, there's almost nothing on Reyes's calendar linking him to Ballard, despite the decade-long friendship. According to his calendar, which I, I know doesn't tell the whole story, is he doing the public's work eight hours a day every day? <laughs> uh, well, you, you certainly don't get that from the calendar. Robert Gerke is a reporter with the Salt Lake Tribune. Another trend that we see with, with these people who are trying to ingratiate themselves with the attorney general is that they will take him on trips or they will take it, give him awards or, you know, he, he gets something out of it too. Over the past few years, the Utah attorney general has faced questions about how much time he actually spends in Utah. In 2022, Reyes's team admits the Qatari government paid for him to come out and watch the World Cup. But the Tribune says that appointment was removed from Reyes's calendar before it was released. Hard to argue that that was a personal trip when he's, you know, doing it exclusively because he is the attorney general. At first, the Utah attorney general's office sued the Salt Lake Tribune when they requested Reyes's calendar. Eventually, they received five years of calendars with personal appointments removed after the AG's office settled the lawsuit. Fox 13 also requested calendars. The AG's office said no, but in September, the State Records Committee ruled in our favor. This time, instead of suing, the AG's office honored the state's decision. They finally agreed the records were public, but put a price tag on transparency, asking us to pay $7,282.07. They don't really have a leg to stand on if they want to fight it in court. So what they can do to obstruct that is put an exorbitant price tag on it. From a financial standpoint, if you can't access this information, then the law is, becomes hollow. According to the Tribune, it is impossible to know how many appointments were removed from Reyes's calendar because they were deemed private. Did we find the big bombshell that we thought we might find? Uh, no, that's not there. And it kind of makes you wonder why they fought so hard to keep it private. I mean, they ended up paying $135,000 in, in attorney's fees. State lawmakers have a lot of the same questions we do. They also want to know what kind of influence, if any, Tim Ballard had on the AG's office. And that's one of the reasons they requested an audit earlier this year. So far, it has not been released. But last December, Sean Reyes decided not to seek re-election. Reporting in studio, Adam Hervitz, Fox 13 News. Utah.